it's me Stormy and here's your weekly horoscope for the week of February 19th. So before we jump into this weekly horoscope, this is the last week to get registered for the brand new Astrology 101 class. Click in the description box down below. We're going to start off on March 10th as well. I have put 102 and 103 in the description boxes down below. I'm totally pumped because 101 got reformatted. Of course, 102 had to be reformatted and 103 is all about compatibility and and synastry. So jump and grab your spots, but this is the last week to get registered for the new 101 class. Okay, so in terms of the week, there's actually no major sign changes, big shifts or anything like that happening, especially compared to the last few weeks that we have had. So it's actually kind of a nice week to be on the down low a little bit, you know, calm down, relax, chill out a little bit. I don't feel like this is a great week to make any really big decisions around romance or finance. Or if you do, you may need to baby step them a little bit because some of the energies, they get together and they're not exactly clear or they can be a little bit impulsive. So let's talk about that. So jumping off right here, Wednesday, February 21st, actually, we've got Venus and Neptune coming together. They're both in the sign of Pisces. One is ruled by the sign of Pisces and they are both strong in Pisces. So being that they are both in a strong state here in Pisces in this conjunction, this can be really positive. Venus and Neptune, I like to refer to them as the Bopsy twins, right? When they get together, they're very blissful. They're very happy. They can be very indulgent. They like to make nice things happen. They are phenomenal for compassion. They are phenomenal for romance. If you do art or you're trying to tap something creative, artistic, even psychic, this is a wonderful energy for that. Now, on the other side of that, what it can also bring to the surface is if you don't, if there's something in your reality that's not awesome, it could show you that it's not awesome and you kind of see this and then you need to make some adjustments and things like that. And that's really... Now, here's the other thing I'm thinking about, too. You could ask some spiritual question or be studying something metaphysical or studying or researching something, and you end up down this rabbit hole of information, and you're just uncovering, uncovering, uncovering. And that could be good and bad, just depending on how you use it. Now, as we get through the weekend, we start to have a little bit more planetary conversation. We've got Venus and Mars having a chat. Mercury and Neptune are going to conjunct. Oh, this is nice. We've got a trine between the sun who's over here in Pisces and the moon who will be in cancer at that time and here's the thing this is all happening on one day it's happening on sunday february 25th so of the week you see what i mean we have a lot of days that kind of have downtime but of the busy of the week it's definitely going to be happening here on sunday so let's talk about these placements now first of all when mars and Venus come into a square with each other, the thing we have to our benefit is that they're still the lovers. They still want to be with each other. And if you've been in a relationship, sometimes when you get mad, it's like the best thing ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes that just had to happen. But what happens when Venus and Mars do come into a square energy like this is that um, they miscommunicate. I mean, we're stepping into a lover's quarrel is ultimately what's happening. They are on the warpath, miscommunication, saying something you didn't mean to say. You know what I'm saying? All of these things happen. And because Mercury is so close to Neptune here, and this is all happening in the energetic space, um, it's not a good time of clear communication. It's just not, this is not strong. It's not, it's not the best time to make decisions about my relationship and my money because we get all heated up and feel like we're impassioned and imbibed and we should make some kind of decision. But we really do need to like calm down, reground and let the dust settle so that we can make the most intelligent, informed, grounded decisions about things. Now I can tell you too that even if this does light a little fire in your life or a big fire, I mean, if it sets the whole closet on fire this week, as we get to this Sunday energy, um, it's still just best to hold off on the decisions. But the thing I think we can also lean into energetically that does help us is that the sun and moon combination between the Pisces and Cancer energy really is going to bring a little bit of calm to the table. A water and trine always brings calm a water trine in my experience always is seeking to bring some kind of harmony now this is a temporary because the moon is going to whip on and keep moving but i think for this week this calm will certainly be welcome <laughs> 
All right, guys, I think it's going to be a good week. I don't think it's a particularly busy week necessarily, but I do think it's going to be a good week. So I look forward to seeing you guys in classes. Get signed up if you need a reading, you need help, you have questions, whatever we got to do, come navigate with me at stormygrace.com. Click in the description box down below for more information on charts, classes, all kinds of good stuff, okay? I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.